Greetings, brothers and sisters. So um, I just uploaded a video to Apocalypse Now. I'm going to get to this um, Alec Baldwin's reaction to Hilaria Baldwin's uh, defense of her Spanishness in a moment. Exclusive on Pox of the Future. But first I want to talk about this. There's a video you can... Um, Hilarious CNN brings back Jeffrey Tubin. And Anchor versus Wanker, he's the wanker, if you don't know the story. <laughs> it's really funny. It's just a funny story. Um, there's a link in all my videos. Uh, there's a link in all my videos on Pockets of the Future to my other channel, Pock Last Now, so you can find that video there if you haven't seen it already. And so then uh, my wife sent me this. Kamala Harris goes to Guatemala. Kamala, mind your own business. Apparently, there's some Trumpers down in Guatemala. <laughs> you know, Guatemala is below Mexico, so it's not um, a close country. And they don't want Kamala there. Kamala, mind your own business. They have quite a few supporters here. Or detractors. Kamala, go home. Kamala. Kamala. Kamala or Kamala, it's one of the two. And they're having a peaceful protest. They don't want any part of her. Kamala, Kamala Trump won. And so the Guatemalans, I mean, think about this, a country that's pretty far removed geographically from America, and certainly Washington, D.C. And there's a bunch of Trumpers down there and they want no part of Kamala. And um, that's hilarious. Like Kamala can't go anywhere where and still, you know, receive some sort of positive response. <laughs> she's in, she's two countries away and there's still people that dislike Kamala and are pro-Trump there. But anyways, without further ado, I got inside secret footage that nobody else has of Alec Baldwin's reaction to his wife, his Spanish wife from Boston, when she tried to defend herself and he was, you know, hearing this stuff for the first time. Hey guys, how are you? So I wanted to respond to some things that I've been seeing on Twitter and I just wanna be very clear, um, just because I think that there's, it's, uh, there's some stuff that needs to be clarified. Um, um, yes, my Spanish flower. Clarify for these trolls. Um, 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 uh, um. Um, you know, I've tried in the past to be clear, but sometimes people don't always um, report and write what, what you say, and I've kind of just put my hands up, but. Yes, it's entirely their fault. They just, they just don't get it. They don't know how Spanish you really are and your Spanish heritage and your and your Spanishness, um, they just, they just, those media people just don't get it. Those Fox Newses, those Trumpers, they just don't understand. Um, but now we have this great community here, so I can just be straightforward with you. Um, I'm sorry, I've got like my, my crazy, my crazy hair. Um, so there's been some questions about where I'm born. I'm born in Boston. Did you just say Boston? You told me you were born in Spain. You said in Spain. In Spain, you said. I thought you were born in Spain. How can you be Spanish and be born in Boston? What are you talking about? Um, um, you clearly told me you were born in Spain and your name was Hilaria and you come from Spain and you're Spanish. Boston. 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 And then I spent some of my childhood in Boston, some of my childhood in Spain. My family, my brother, my parents, my nephew, everybody is over there in Spain. Now I'm here. I knew that your family didn't look Spanish. They look a lot like people from Boston. I told all my friends, ah, I went on TV shows. I got a niche right here. I told everyone you were Spanish. Um, this is an embarrassment. You've embarrassed me. I told everyone. Everyone thinks you're Spanish. And so there was like a lot of back and forth. My 
entire life. And I'm really lucky that I grew up speaking two languages. And I'm trying to raise my kids so that they speak two languages too. Boston. Boston. Ah, oh, Boston. Oh my God, Boston. Um, and that's something that's very important for me, especially having my family abroad. Um, so that was one thing. I think people ask sometimes about how I speak. I am that person that if I've been speaking a lot of Spanish, I, you know, tend to mix them. And if I'm speaking more English, I, you know, doing a lot of English, then I mix that. I always wonder why your accent disappears. I'm just so stupid. Sometimes you're talking with an American girl from Boston accent. Sometimes you're talking with a Spanish accent. Like, why did I fall for that? Um, I am stupid. I'm just so stupid. Stupid. I'm just so freaking stupid. I'm so stupid. Stupid. I'm just really, really uh, stupid. It's one of those things that's always been a little bit, I've been a little insecure about over different times. And, you know, when I try to work, I try to enunciate a little bit more. But if I get nervous or upset or something, then I start to, to mix the two. And again, this is something that I've always been a little bit insecure about, but I've decided maybe 2021, we will get over that. And I'm definitely addressing it very openly right now. Right now, yeah, sure, right now. What about when I ordered you on Spanishwives.com. I clearly specified I wanted a Spanish wife. Um, not some mousy girl from Boston. I ordered a Spanish wife from Spanishwives.com. I want my money back. I want my 40 grand back. I didn't want some mousy girl from Boston. With that insecurity. Um, but this idea that I'm trying, I do actually, I mean, I try to speak more clearly in each language. Um, um, I think that that's something that we should, I, I should try to do. And, um, but sometimes I mess it up, but it's not something that I'm like playing at. So I want that to be very, very, very clear. You didn't even know how to say cucumber. Girls from Boston know how to say cucumber. You know how to say cucumber. You know how to say a cucumber, like a cucumber, like a cucumber, right? A cucumber. Um, and then um, the my name. So my when I was growing up, I and in this country, I would use the name Hillary, and in Spain, I would use the name Ilaria. And my family, like my parents, they call me Ilaria. My, my whole family call me Ilaria, and. Um, and it was something that was always kind of like a, I see other people do it, and it always kind of bothered me that like neither name sounded good in the other language. So I would, you know, use one or the other. When I was a dancer, I would use that. Um, in American high school, I, I would do that. American high school? You went to American high school? You said you were Spanish. Um, um. American high school, American high school. We have 15 kids now. Oh my God, with Spanish names. Um, and then, um, in, then, you know, a handful of years before I met Alec, I decided to consolidate the two because it was just like so many documents that so many different things and all these, you know, um, like even things like going and picking up a prescription, I'd be like, I don't know what what you have on file. Um, so I consolidated and I identify more with Ilaria because that's what my family calls me. And I don't know, but one of the things I love about what my parents call me is that it means happy. It means happy in both languages. I think happy, happy, not happy. I'm not happy. Do you think I'm happy? I'm not happy. Hillary, Hillary, that doesn't make me happy hearing Hillary is from Boston, does not make me happy. That we can all be really like clear that it's the same name, just like a few letters different. So I think we shouldn't be so upset about it. And if whatever you guys want to call me, I will respond to both. How about lying bitch from Boston? How about lying bitch from Boston? Can I call you that? Lying bitch from hot Spanishwives.com from Boston. Um, but what, literally whatever you guys want. And, um, I feel like those were all the points. Um, the name, oh, something about our wedding that like, you know, I've 
have all these people from Spain come over for my wedding. We did. We had 44 people come over. My family and my friends come over. I paid 250 grand for your 44 friends that were from Boston to come over from Spain. And and it was like magical. And ultimately this like come, this boils down to this idea where um, this is a country of a lot of different cultures. And I think that we can be different parts of ourselves with different people. At least tell me those are your real tits. Say me those are your real tits. And I'm somebody who I feel really lucky that I grew up with two cultures. I grew up speaking two languages. I grew up, um, you know, did I always do it well, you know, through your awkward years and, you know, trying to be more this or be more that. Um, I've said some things about like, oh, she's a white girl. Yes, I am a white girl. I paid 40 grand for a white girl from Boston. I, is there any refund policies? Um, I'm breaking out in hives. I feel hives on my ear. I'm getting stress hives. Uh, is there a refund policy at hotspashwives.com? I want my 40 grand back. White girl from Boston. I am a white girl. And let's be very clear that Europe, you know, has a lot of white people in them, in there. And my family is white. I'm, you know. You know where else has a lot of white people? Boston. Boston. <coughs> Boston. There are a lot of white people in Boston. Why didn't you say this before? Why are you telling me this now? Ethnically, I am a mix of many, many, many things. Um, culturally, I grew up with the two cultures. So it's really as simple as that. Simple as what? You told me you were a Spanish girl from Spain. HotSpanishWives.com said you were from Spain. It's as simple as that. Um, and the reason I wanted to take it so seriously is because this, these are more, you know, cultural conversations are things that we're having a little bit more and more. And I just want to be very, very clear. And, I've, you know, in the past, I would get very frustrated when reporters would report this or report that or like, you know, and I'd try to be very clear. And they'd be like, oh, so you were you were born in Spain. And I was like, all right, let me give you a spoiler alert. Let me give you a spoiler alert. I paid 40 grand. 40 grand. HotSpanishWives.com and they sent me a girl from Boston who said she was Spanish and didn't know how to say cucumber in English and now I find out after having 27 kids named Eduardo and Maria that she's an American girl from Boston and I don't, you know, know what to do about it. You ruined my life, Hillary. You're the only one who knows and I would be laughing because it was like anytime I would say it, people just want to label you as something else. And I'm like, I'm born in Boston. It was literally the first thing that I told my husband. So you have another husband. Another hive I got in the back of my ear. Another husband. Because you didn't tell me shit. And yeah, I'm a different kind of Bostonian, but that's who I am, and and you kind of can't change your your background. No, what I want to. I'm like really, really proud of who I am, and you proud of Hillary or Hilaria or both? Which one are you proud of? Oh my God, which one are you proud of? Which background are you proud of? Your real one or the one on SpanishWise.com told me was your background. All of my different experiences and has it made me insecure as everybody over the years? Sure, yeah, I've had my, my insecurities, but I've, I'm learning that, you know, what makes me unique is also of, of value to myself and I can embrace it and, um. What makes you unique is that you're married to the star of 30 Rock and the world's greatest Trump impersonator. That's what makes you unique. And the greatest whisper alive, I might add. And yeah, so for all of those of you who are confused about where I'm from and why I speak two languages, I grew up speaking two languages. And again, my family lives in Spain. Um, and we, I can't wait to see them after the pandemic. I've been away from them since. Uh, since Margarita was born, right? Say it, say it. 
since Margarita was born. Last, last September, not the September, but the September before, and I miss them very much. They haven't met the baby. Um, but again, like anybody who's like coming out of the woodwork and like claiming to like know me, um, I, I'm sure we do probably know each other of some sort. And I'm sure that, you know, when we're, um, at certain phases, when we're trying to be this way, be cool or be that or whatever, when we grow up, I mean, nobody wants to go back to those years. Speak for yourself, Senior Rita from Boston. Um, those were the best, uh, years of my life. I want to go back to those years. I want my years back. I want my years back. Um, I'm sure that we all, you know, tried to be our coolest self as we thought at the time. But, you know, as you get older, you kind of just embrace who you are. And, um, you just kind of want to be open about it. And that's what I'm trying to do here is that this is just who I am and my life story. And it might not fit into your cookie cutter and might not fit into a label. It does fit into one label, lying Bostonian bitch. Lying Bostonian bitch. But it's my weird mix of who I am. All right, guys, I hope that cleared out anything up. If you want to talk about it more, I am an open book and I'm so happy to talk about it. Tell me one thing, Hillary or Hilaria or whatever your Bostonian name is. Tell me one thing. Did you vote for Trump? Did you really secretly vote for Trump? I bet you vote for Trump. I think you're a Trumper. You're a Trumper. On top of everything else, you're a fucking Trumper. Um, a Trumper. A Trumper. A Trumper. Ha <laughs> Trumper. You Trumper. 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 Only spirituality will save this world. This is Paul Romano, definitely, reporting from the Apocalypse and the Ascension. Everyone have a blessed day and be grateful.